finest professional wrestling from the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic region, Capital Wrestling. Hey, Capital Wrestling fans, what's going on? Marcus King Kong Dowling here, co-founder of the company, CEO. And, uh, you know, I have issues with Portia Vaughn, the Femivist, and Luxury Muscles Incorporated. I've heard all sorts of extravagant excuses as to why Luxury Muscles Incorporated cannot defend the Capital Wrestling Tag Team Championships. So I've taken it upon myself to sit with our executive staff, and if they can't defend the titles, by July 14th, they'll be stripped of the tag team titles. So in the interim, tonight, we're having an interim tag team title match in order to make sure that we have tag team champions that defend the titles and also, for me personally, people that can bring some pride and prestige to our tag team division holding those titles. That match will take place between Juba and Smiley, because I mean, everybody loves Juba. And Smiley, he's put in fantastic work. I mean, the, the guy is beloved by children in the Capital Wrestling audience. And they'll be taking on two students from Seth Rollins' Black and Brave Academy. I mean, we, we know what they did to Ronnie Burton. We saw the blackout curb stomp. But they're talented. No matter what their, their, their behavior is in the ring, they're undoubtedly talented. So Xander Killen and Eddie Machete from the Black and Brave Academy will be taking on Juba and Smiley tonight. I'm excited, you should be excited, and we're gonna, with Capital Wrestling, I love that sign, get to the ring. lawyer who will fight for you. EDA Law will go off the top rope for you and your needs. Pro wrestling veteran Eric Anderson has brought his no-nonsense approach from the ring to the courtroom. The New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer, 20-year veteran, and his team focus on business law, criminal defense, and representing members of the pro wrestling industry. For more information, head to edalaw.com. That's edalaw.com. EDA Law. Those in the law who wrestled know how to wrestle with the law. And of course, the end game, Paul Jourdain, hoping to continue his, his route here in Capital Wrestling of tearing apart all the newcomers who stand in his Introducing way. Introducing first, Iron City. Jordan not liking Scotty Cerini here, taking the mic away. Cut the music real quick. Just like Nickelback, the end game Paul Jordan is bringing you all the hits. Now bring that son of a bitch out here. Oh wow. Nickelback. Bunch of hits. How could you fool that? Bunch of uh... You may not like his taste in music, but... Now you're all just acting like a bunch of sheep. You're a bunch of sheep. Wait a minute, what's this? And who is it? Oh, that's the... That's... That's we found out. After the last appearance in Capital Wrestling, this is Ike. And again, uh... Dusty Ike. He can't... He can't, uh... Well, what are we doing with the microphone here, but... Special guest referee, uh, Chris Crespo. I'm not really sure what's going on here. There's a lot going on here. Uh, first Rave of all, I dust? don't know what, yeah, I, I don't know. I want to hope that the best thing that could be is asbestos. That's the best. Environmental wellness, please. Yeah, I didn't come here to be poisoned, but here we go. And Paul Jordan bringing back Ike for another opportunity in the Paul Jordan Invitational. And I think he's going to make oh sure my God. of Ike. This, oh, this isn't Lord. fair. Oh, dear Lord. Not just fair to Ike, but it's also unfair to my Paul Jordan! What did we witness here? One, two, two count only. 
A two count only. Uh, he could have, Chris, uh, referee Chris Crespo could have been a little bit quicker. Count faster, and that's going to cost Ike dearly here. And again, and again. another uh, one. Almost a retake. Oh, is this a wrestling match or a murder? One, two, two count again. Paul Jordan just toying with this piece of meat. It's like a, a dog with a chew toy. Is it that he's toying with him, or is that the referee, uh, Chris Crespo, un unable to make the count as quick as Jordan would like? And up again, come on. For the it third could, time. Either answer is not. Ooh, that game wow. falls upon Dusty Ike, and that's got to be it. Someone put this out of his misery. One, two, three, and it's all over mercifully. Here is your winner, Paul Jordan. Paul Jordan, uh, not a fan of, uh, of referee Chris Crespo, who is an up-and-coming comedian and a uh, podcaster and uh, trying his hand here at refing as well. And not to Paul Jordan's liking. Not happy about it. And Ike will have to make his way back to whatever sewer he crawled out from. When is Paul Jordan going to face another person worthy What are you talking about? Size. He just beat Ike. That, that was a murder. No, you can't do this. What are you doing? Okay, come on now. Wait a minute. This is a bit much The here. man's a guest here. No. Oh, oh my God. Oh. oh my God. Get someone out of here. Oh my God, what is going on what here? What the? F no, I'm not, I'm not. What just happened? Oh my God. Oh wow. That was. I've seen a lot of despicable things in my time here in Capital Wrestling, in the professional wrestling business as a whole, but none worse than the actions of Paul Jourdain. A sickening display. That went. Uh, from being fun to brutal real quick. Hi, I'm David Lee reporting for Capital Wrestling. Now, my first story here is going to be, well, to be honest, I just caught up with the Black and the Brave. Now, they haven't been seen here in weeks, and I'm a bit hesitant to go over and talk to them. However, I just have to find out what is the story with them and Ronnie Burton, and what is their mentality for why things went down the way they did, and why they portrayed their brother, Ronnie Burton. Let's go over and find out now. Excuse me, Black and Brave. We'd love to get a word with you, Joe. Oh, oh, hey, stop. Who are you? Uh, What's your name? Oh, uh, oh who are you walking up on? Uh, I'm David Lee, reporting for Capitol. I uh, just wanted to get a word about Ronnie Burton and how you feel about Ronnie, Ronnie Burton. Yeah, 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 Ronnie Burton. Ronnie um, Burton's the past. We're moving on to our tag title shot tonight. Oh, and I respect that gentleman, but um, if I if I may, uh, you did you did portray him, and after the history you gentlemen have. Whoa, I, whoa, whoa, whoa! Betrayed. Well, give me a break, man. Betrayed. He no. came out to the Midwest, come to the Black and Brave where we trained, came to take our name, and come back to New York to use it, and we betrayed him. Well, I, I, I understand that's your point of view, but uh, there would be some who would argue that... Uh, um, Keep maybe... talking. Come on, let's go. Get it out, Come on, new guy. I want to hear what you got to say now. That Tell me. What are you doing, new guy? Come on, man. You look a little green in the business. It's, it's just that... Um... Huh? Maybe you don't know who we are, or maybe you didn't see what we I, did. I, 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 I saw what you did. I saw what you did. I, 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 I apologize for using a word that offended you, but the reality is... The reality is, this is our promo, and you better shut up while we tell you tonight that we came out here at the beginning to beat up Ronnie Burton. We came out here to take what he took from us, and now we are here <laughs> to win tag team championships. Something that we came to take that Ronnie cannot have. It's something that we took from Ronnie, his opportunity, Come because here, new guy. he was expendable. You hear me? Expendable. Don't ever walk up on me and tell me and ask me questions that you already know the answer to. We're not stupid. You hear me? Yes. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, I hear you. That's what I thought. Are you in need of a lawyer who will fight for you? 
EDA Law will go off the top rope for you and your needs. Pro wrestling veteran Eric Anderson has brought his no-nonsense approach from the ring to the courtroom. The New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Famer, 20-year veteran, and his team focus on business law, criminal defense, and representing members of the pro wrestling industry. For more information, head to edalaw.com. That's edalaw.com. EDA Law. Those in the law who wrestled know how to wrestle with the law. Don't miss a single moment of Capital Wrestling Television by subscribing to our Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Capital Wrestling not only gives you a brand new episode every Monday night at 7.05, but exclusive content like Capital Wrestling's World War IV Live, exclusive Match Zero content, Capital Wrestling Binge Mode Marathons, and the upcoming Level Up with Stephen James and more. Push the button and subscribe to twitch.tv slash Capital Wrestling. Do you wonder how Donald Trump rose from TV celebrity to United States president? If you like the guts and glamour of professional wrestling, unbiased reporting, and a refreshing, lighthearted take on modern politics, then you'll love best-selling author Lavi Margolin's body-slamming biography, Trump Mania. Through Margolin's ringside analysis, you'll catch a revealing new look into the character of the president and the current landscape of American politics. Read Trump Mania, now available on Amazon.com. Paul, Paul. So you made quite the point there in the ring. Point? Was... The point? No, 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 no. That was a reminder. Paul Jordan doesn't have to make points. Macintosh got lucky. I dominate. I don't have to get lucky. Do you understand? I'm going to keep doing exactly what I've been doing until someone can pay me enough for me to stop. Until that day, the end game Paul Jourdain is the point. And welcome back to Capital Wrestling. Wait I'm a minute, Mr. Entertainment. Uh, what's going on here? Mr. Entertainment, Harry Jordanian is going. Coming out from the, from the crowd. We were waiting on the stage. And uh, here they are. The, the black and brave. Xander Killen and Eddie Machete, what? who had an altercation with our own Dave Lee backstage. Okay. The Black and the Brave. Uh, once again, thank you for joining us. This is, by the way, just to Capital let you know, Wrestling. Capital Wrestling. And it is a, uh, we have a tag team championship match for you tonight. To decide the interim tag team championships. Well, the now vacant tag team championships, dare I say it. Uh, after decision by Marcus Dowling to take them off. Of Luxury, Luxury Muscles, Muscles Incorporated for lack of defense. Well, and also the lack of defense of the, the claim, you know, the New York Wrecking Crew also have a claim to that tag team championship, but a big opportunity for There the, has been definite turmoil absolutely. in the tag division, but tonight four men will settle it in the middle of the ring for the coveted tag team titles. Eddie Machete and, and making their way to the ring uh -oh, wait. from Strong Island and the Psycho Lucha himself Smiley and Juba we heard from them just a few moments ago He's not coming this way, is he, Juba? The no, Juba's not coming this right, way. Good. Uh, should focus on this match, but the, the combination of Smiley Will and Juba. Will you stop scooting your chair back? No, it's just, uh, whatever. It's, uh, you know, I'm surprised, uh, first of all, a lot of bizarre decisions from Marcus Dowling since the last couple weeks here at Capital Wrestling. When last we saw Juba in one of the greatest moments in the history of Capital Wrestling, yeah, a moment you won't stop sharing with me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Clotheslining Matthew Ryan Shapiro and sending him to the hospital. How is your bosom buddy? My, my friend, Matthew Ryan Shapiro, is doing well under the circumstances. He's recovering. They finally pulled out the catheter. And a lot of bizarre antics here. Well, I'm what glad Juba's having 
I'm glad Juba's having a hey, great time. Hey, Smiley looks like Matthew Ryan Shapiro. How dare He's you? He's doing the pose. How dare you? This is That's what this is supposed to be? Can we roll that in the truck? Can we not? Can we not? No, picture in a picture. We are in a the match here. The rules for we this match one. are simple. One fall to a finish. The first team to gain a pinfall or submission over the other will be crowned the interim Capital Wrestling Tag Team Champions. The bell rings, the man in charge of the action, Mr. Rob Black. Introducing first, fighting out of Davenport, Iowa, with a total combined weight of 390 pounds, Eddie Machete and Xander Killen, Machete Killen! Machete Killen here. When last we saw them, they took out their brother. And their opponents fighting out of the Strong Burton, Island of Institute for the Mentally Deranged. With a total combined weight from? of 534 pounds. This is Juba and your friendly neighborhood psycho, Smiley. An unlikely pairing, but these two men, no stranger to action here in Capital Wrestling. I thought when we got rid of Matt Sexell, we'd be done with this insanity, but instead, he's joined by Juba. He's not coming this way, is he? No, he's not. Stop Good. scooting yeah. your chair back. Okay. It's okay. The man is a monster. First of all, not only should he not be getting a tag team championship shot. Waiting to Rochambeau to see who gets in. But Xander and Killen, uh, Machete and, uh, and Killen, not wasting any time, immediately going after them. And a smart move, get the jump on these two. For sure. I mean, these two are members of the, the Black and Brave, the Black and Brave Wrestling Academy. Sending Smiley to the outside is Machete, and now the numbers game. How will they compare and compete with the power of Juba here? I'll tell you how the smarts, everything they've learned from WWE champion uh, Seth Rollins, current intercontinental champion Seth Rollins, and his academy, Black and Gray. Now these, these men went to school together, they know each other, while Smiley and Juba have been partners in other places, and Juba promised Matt Sells that he'd look after him while he followed Whitesnake on tour in Europe. That's where Matt Sells is. Well, first of all, I don't know how anyone can know either Juba or Smiley, but especially Smiley. I don't even think he can Double clothesline, sending both men out to the outside, and Juba standing tall. But secondly, uh, I don't think he's on the road with White Snake. I, mean, I thought he was deported for alcoholism. Trying to communicate with Smiley. Wait a minute, test of strength? Oh, spotting him. Smiley gearing up for something here. There we go. Taking off his mask. Looking to fly. Right onto the outside, taking out both Machete and Killen is Smiley. And, and to see these two right now, they have the upper hand. I cannot imagine them being the Capital Wrestling Tag Team Champions. What a disgrace it would be. Smiley putting it all on the line, his body on the line for those, for those Tag Team Championships, which he's been chasing for quite some time. But again, on the outside, this is, ooh, look at that. This is where Eddie Machete eats on the outside, violence. Their, their appetite, their strategy is violence in the ring and out, and now they're, they're, they're taking out Smiley. And Juba driving that head and shoulder right into that steel post. And how smart of them together just take out Juba, and now they go after the smaller man, Smiley, so they can beat. Trying to pick him apart. Juba, the muscles, and I never thought I'd say this, and the brain of the operation. But now, they Machete with a nice short arm clothesline. Holding on out. to it. And another not releasing, and a third. Down he goes, telling referee Rob Bat to count one, two. Oh, one count only, didn't get that second down before Smiley got his shoulder up. Now front face lock, but look at Eddie Machete looking at the corner, wondering, hey, is Juba still up? He doesn't have that full front face lock, though, but still able to drag him over to Xander Killen. That's the smart part. All he needs to do is restrain him a little bit to make sure he can get him to the corner. 
kick right to the ribs and a chop exchanged between the two men. And another clothesline here. Not letting Smiley gain any momentum. One, one count only again. I, and now the opportunity, what an opportunity. What, what a thing it would be for these two to win the Capital Wrestling Championship, the Tag Team Champion. I mean, you've got to you've got to wonder why this opportunity was handed to Machete and Killen for uh, by Capital Wrestling Management. Is this a ploy for attention or something that could create a major wave here? I got a lot of questions for Marcus Dowling, in particular, why Juba wasn't charged with assault for keeping Matthew Ryan Shapiro in the hospital after clotheslining him like that. The man is the man's got a lot of rehabilitation. The poor guy, you know, I just saw him the other day. And uh, by the way, we are starting a Kickstarter, a, uh, a GoFundMe to, to take care of the medical bills for Matthew Ryan Shapiro. Have you had any donators? I doubt it. Oh, plenty of donators, plenty of donators. I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of fans. Uh, uh, Sue Ravella, she Who? donated a fan. Sue Ravella, just, these are just fans, you know. And I, I, Sue Ravella? I promise I'd mention their names on the air. Okay, uh, uh, Sky McLaughlin. Sky McLaughlin. Sky McLaughlin. Yeah, Sky McLaughlin. What's Who's coming? next? Abe Vagoda? Don't be silly. He's dead, Steven. He is dead. He absolutely could not donate money. But we've got a lot of celebrities who've donated money. Uh, Eric Estrada. <laughs> Eric Estrada doesn't have any money. Well, he's got a lot of land. So, I mean, you know. I mean, let's get back to the action in the <laughs> ring with your ridiculousness. Springboard. If we could post that link underneath the action here so people can donate to the... Uh, to the GoFundMe for the medical bills, we're asking for $2.5 million. $2.5 million? There's a lot of damage that Juba caused on Matthew Ryan Shapiro. That's why I'm wondering why he's even in this match. It's despicable that he could be the, the Capital Wrestling Tag Team Champion. One half, and tagged into the match finally. Juba with a clothesline here, trying to get some measure of revenge for Ronnie Burton, who these men turned on, their brother in arms as they thought it, it was turning on him. Killen going to jump into the arms of Big Juba, catching him. Oh, no avail. One, two, two count. The, the tag team titles meaning so much to both of these men. What a statement that would be if Machete and Killen could beat two established stars here in Capital Wrestling. Absolutely. Both Juba and Smiley. Juba and Smiley, I mean, you know, they're like another team that was put together here. I know they've wrestled again, like you said, in other, other promotions together, but. Trying to get the drop with a flying cross body, but caught by Juba, who looks more annoyed than anything else. But down, hitting the knee, falling on top of him. One, two, two count only as Juba tries to power out at the last second. But that still, knee. the damage is done. Look at him clutch that knee. that knee. And if there's any justice in this world, he'll be in the same hospital that he put Matthew Ryan Shapiro in. Going Again, back to that front face lock. If we could put that link underneath, you no. can donate. Uh, we're so close to the 2.5. Why, why does it say Kickstarter slash Harry Turjanian Vacation Fund? That's, you know what? There's a lot of letters that go into that, Steve. Don't be ridiculous. I mean, wouldn't you need a vacation after what Juba did to you? I've been there. You're not the one who's been in the hospital bed next to Matthew Ryan Shapiro. Tag made to Smiley. Double DDT. But Smiley tagged in. Kick right to the chin and a knee to Machete. And Smiley gearing up. Kick right to the gut, slowing that momentum. Here comes Killen. Crucifix pin. One, two, two count only. And what a fantastic matchup so far for the Capital Wrestling interim tag titles. There's no doubt about that. Uh, and it is a fantastic match. You've got to give it to Smiley, who's got tremendous athleticism. I mean, he is a second generation superstar in, in Mexico. Did, wasn't his father, uh, didn't his father wrestle as El Hijo de Stupido? Ooh, now you're just making head. things up. Fine, Stupido Jr., whatever you call it. Look at those kicks by, by Xander Killen, but caught by Smiley. Uh oh. Going for Wrapping him up, zone. looking for a pile driver. Yeah. Modified it. And I don't even know what you would call that. Double knee strike to the face and Xander Something killing Something psychotic. Dane. And the one thing, the, the way you don't want to wake up is Juba grabbing you by the throat. Uh-oh. Setting him up for the choke slam. Oh, Smiley right with his knees. Knee. 
right to the knees. And this That's got to be it. Cover one, two. No, it's a foot on the rope. Foot underneath. Eddie Machete dragged it underneath. I couldn't see that from the side. That, that big animal Juba was blocking my view. Rob Black thought he got a three count there. And I mean that, I mean he's an animal in his violent behavior and that smell. Smiley and Juba upset here. Smiley thinks he's won. We heard three. We did hear three, but wait a minute. Eddie Machete on the outside with that chair. Wait. Wait, what, what is What's this? that? What's going on here? Uh, intermission is not for It's another. the rock god Ronnie Burton here. Oh, no. Looking for oh, a measure no, no. of revenge. And Juba snatches the chair right out of Eddie Machete's hands. Distracting Eddie Machete for a moment. Oh, no, 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 this can't happen. This cannot happen. Come on, Eddie. Allowing Juba to get the upper hand here. To the outside goes Machete. And now Killen is left all alone as no. Ronnie Burton stares on. From the stage, and could this be payback? Xander Killen not wanting to turn around, and I don't blame him. Oh no! Picks up, picks him up like a baby. Side fall slam, and off the top rope. 450 splash. Cover one, two, three. You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be. We've got you. You heard it, Harry, right here. Our new Capital Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the Interim Tag Team Champions, the Psycho Lucha, and Juba. That it's man, your worst nightmare. That man doesn't deserve to be champion. That man should be in a jail for what he did. Are you out of your mind? This is insane. This is not insane. Ronnie Burton gaining a measure of revenge over Killen and Machete, seeking, costing them the tag titles. It's a wonderful day here in the Capital. We've got some new tag team champions. This guy. These guys don't even know what to do with those titles. What are you talking about? This is ridiculous. Looks pretty happy to, to me. Is he not? He's not coming this way, is he? He's no, no, no. Way. He's fine. Get out from under there. You don't tell me what to do. You don't tell me what to do. And Eddie Machete and... I can't believe I, I have to witness this. I can't believe I have to sit here and watch this and trying to pull down the pants. Smiley trying to pants referee Rob Blatt. There What's you go, because that's here? what you do when you're a champion, by the way. That's the type of thing, great. That's the type of thing we can expect more of now that you have your new champions, Juba and Smiley. One man, one man who had his championship glory taken away from him earlier this year, Mike Law, is with our very own Brandon Lewis. We have a treat for you tonight by my side, former Sapphire television champion, Colossal Mike Law. Tonight, you have Bo Crockett. See, tonight in this very building, Hoboken, New Jersey, there's a chance to make history. See, it is either the night that Colossal Mike Law puts an exclamation point and ends this feud with Bo Crockett, or Bo Crockett is the luckiest man on the face of the planet and beats me. Well, I'm a betting man, I'll tell you right now. Bo Crockett, if I were to bet a million dollars, I would bet that I'm going to walk out tonight as the winner. Well, that's tonight, but I know you still have your eyes on that championship. Also in the ring tonight is your nemesis, the Memphis Mofo. Memphis Mofo, let me tell you something about Memphis Mofo. You see, you, my friend, by the skin of your teeth, were able to beat me, and I guess what? He had to do with the assistance of Bo Crock. You see, tonight is the beginning of the end for you as a champion here. I am the TV champion. I am the guy who put that title on the map. And guess what? After I am done with Bo Crockett, Menfo Mofo, guess what? I'm coming after you. Those are big words. He seems very attached to Juanita. Juanita, little Juanita, is that, is that is a, because he probably can't get a woman to save his life. Here's the facts. Menfo Mofo, you cheated your way to win that title. You had a hard time beating a hot dog last time. Did you know that? I, I, I'm staying up. Well, I'm not a hot dog. I am Colossal Mike Law. I am a former TV champion. But far more important than that, I am striving for something far more, far more important. Not only do I want to reclaim my title, Ken Dixon, 
That heavyweight title sure does look fine to me. Guess what? After that, after I do reclaim my title, how about I go after your title as well? That's incredible, and you heard the goals here tonight. I look forward to possibly seeing them.